Hello, my name is Jackie Morrison and I'm playing the character of Dorothy Nettles. And my name is Mitchell Mullen, I'm playing Jefferson Steele. Uh, and you're appearing in a bunch of amateurs at the Watermill Theatre, which opens on the 22nd of May. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the story of the play? Well, uh, I think it's a story, I would say, from my point of view. It's the story of, of a, an American movie star who is brought to Britain under a particular circumstance, uh, finds out the circumstances change for him, uh, doesn't want to stay, is convinced to stay, and finds his personal redemption in here. Very good. That's very good. I'm hoping to see that on stage. <laughs> it's about a faded Hollywood star who, who's got a fading career. And my character, um, I'm Dorothy, uh, I'm part of an amateur dramatic group in uh, Stratford St. John in Suffolk. And um, uh, the theatre, the little barn theatre is uh, about to be closed and we need some funding and we think if we can get a big name then we'll get big sponsorship and big publicity and we manage, under false pretenses, to get Jefferson Steele. And a, you're rehearsing a, a production of uh, King Lear, aren't you? Yes, so, we're rehearsing, yeah. yes, so we'd be rehearsing, he'd be playing King Lear. We've managed to, <coughs> his agent has convinced him to come over, he thinks he's coming to the Royal Shakespeare Company. That's the false pretense in Stratford-upon-Avon, not to the Stratford players in Stratford St John. Right. Fabulous. And so, um, uh, King Lear features quite heavily in the piece. So what are those kind of similarities between the themes of King Lear and this play? Well, I think for, from the point of view of my character, uh, it has to do with uh, the idea of family and uh, the sense that um, he's <coughs> his, uh, his relationship with his daughter figures heavily into uh, what happens to him in the play. And his, and his relationship with his daughter is something that is, that, that is not right and needs to get fixed. And I think that's a, that's a parallel point between our story and the story yes. of Lear. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also, I suppose for Dorothy, it, in, the, in the play, within the play, as in Lear within the play, I, I, I'm the director, but I'm also the fool. And I very much have to kind of try and manage Jefferson. And the fool, I suppose, is... In King Lear is Lear's ally, and that's what I'm trying to be with you. Right. Perhaps. I like that. Yeah, it's only been four days. <laughs> <laughs> and how is it going? You've you've had four days rehearsal. Um, how is how is rehearsals going? Well, they're a whole lot of fun. I mean, we're just getting to know each other, and yeah. just uh, it's a lot of laughing. It, yeah, it's good. It's a lot of trying to imagine how am I going to actually get through this play without laughing at her line <laughs> and <laughs> vice course. versa. Yeah, hopefully. yeah. It's good, it's funny. And I believe there's some music in the play as well. So um, Yes. Um, yes, there, there are little incidental bits of music after certain scenes, which um, Paul has written and composed. Yeah. He's incredibly talented. And it's put to some uh, fool songs, mm -hmm. words of Shakespeare. Yeah, and, uh, well, thank you ever so much. Uh, really good to talk to you, and uh, we look forward to seeing the show. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.